So what were cannons like in the 1800s? Well, in the 1800s, iron was replacing bronze as gunmetal, and bronze wouldn't be used again until about 1836. In comparison to trebuchets, as talked about with Taylor earlier, these new cannons would be much lighter and easier to move, which would make them easier to transport. During this time, the majority of cannons were used for naval battles. One of the most common cannons was the carronade, which was used by the British from the 1770s to the 1850s. It was short range with low muzzle velocity, and was made for trying to destroy enemy vessels, because chances are if you're shooting a cannon, that's something you want to destroy. And since it was made for short range attack, it was not as accurate, but it did do a whole lot of damage. The design was based on reducing the weight of the cannon by reducing the internal pressure. This was accomplished by reducing the length of the barrel. One of the most common types of ammunition for this gun was grape shots. Grape shots were small bags that contained metal balls. When you put all the cannonballs into a bag, it looked like a grapevine, thus the name grape shot. And when you shot the grape shot, it would spread similar to a shotgun. And around the 1850s, the carronade started to disappear because the Royal Navy wanted to focus more on accuracy. So, how did these cannons affect politics, economics, and the military? With the military, let's say one of the ships was in a war, and an enemy ship was close by. They could use the carronade to shoot a short range shot and take down the enemy ship pretty quickly. In politics, the Royal Navy was already strong, and they became even stronger because now they could take down enemies at short range. And since they were so strong, they could keep their political power strong. And for economics, well, the carronade was very easy to transport, and it took less crew to work with, so all the expenses that come from transporta transporting all the artillery were cut down. So I'm going to send it over to Alonzo to talk about cannons in the 1900s.